Sarah Newton. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. You know, this debate today really matters. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. really matters to the hundreds of thousands of people across our great nation and across the world. This is the mother of all parliaments. Yes. This is the country that did have the first industrial revolution. It is our moral responsibility to come together as a parliament and show that leadership that people across the world expect of us, rightly expect of us. We today should be building on that radical political consensus that was achieved back in 2008, which brought all the parties in this House together, that gave ministers, any minister standing at that dispatch box, legally binding targets to deal with reducing emissions. Yep. And I'm confident that this Secretary of State and this Government, yeah, through yeah. the actions that they have demonstrated, will respond positively, enthusiastically and responsibly to the guidance that they are going to receive tomorrow which will set out why we need to move to net zero carbon by 2050 yeah, yeah. or sooner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we need to do today is to put all these petty political yeah, yeah. point yeah, scoring yeah. ports to one side yeah, yeah, yeah. to recognise what this country has achieved and to share that ambition to do more and faster. Because I know from going around my constituency, like every other member in this House, whether it's school children or members of the WI or the business community, all parts of society that we represent are all asking us to do more. But also they're asking us what more they can do. Yes. Because this will be not only what we do in this place, but it's what the whole of our country is going to do what businesses are going to do, what our public services are going to do, and what people are going to do. And I know that people want to do the right thing, but sometimes people don't know what to do. So I want to make one point today, a simple point, by sharing the great work of Lucy Isaacson and Climate Vision in my constituency. Now, back in 2009, she set up simple ten pledges. She got ten local ambassadors in Truro to recruit a whole team of us to take some simple changes in our lives. And over four months, we did that. And between us, we saved over 3,000 tonnes of CO2. Yeah. Now, this wasn't virtue signalling. This wasn't running out and buying the most expensive new electric vehicle. This were simple things we could all do, like switching our energy provider, which saves money as well as CO2, like eating local in-season produce, walking more often, all sorts of practical things yeah, yeah. that Absolutely save us all right. money, make us all feel better and actually contribute to our local economy. So I set a challenge to every member of this House today. Um, I know you care very much about this issue. I know many of you are riding bicycles and taking all sorts of action in your community. But go to my website, look up the work of Climate Vision and take one of those pledges or all ten of those pledges. <laughs> That means today we can all between us commit to reducing our own emissions. Yeah, yeah. We are all leaders in our own community and we can support and encourage everyone who wants to play their part to make a difference. And they can hashtag 10 pledge challenge so together we can send out a very strong message today that as individual leaders, as policy makers, as members of this mother of all parliaments, we get it and we are stepping up to the greatest challenge that we will face in our lifetimes. Yeah, yeah. At Miliband. Yeah. Yeah.